The French left will be the dominant force in a hung parliament. Investors in fresh assets should prepare for long months of political instability. The so-called New Popular Front, an alliance of the far left, the Socialist Party and the Greens, sprang a surprise in the French parliamentary election runoff on July 7th. It will be the largest force in the new National Assembly, but with only 182 deputies, it will fall way short of the 289 seats needed for an absolute majority. And the other parties, the centrist coalition supporting President Emmanuel Macron and the far-right Assemblement National, were not that far behind. Macron's renaissance with 168 seats and the party of Marine Le Pen with 143. Investors have many reasons to be relieved that the far right no longer has any chance to lead the next government and implement its costly platform. Should they now fear a prime minister from the left? That's not certain. It's hard to see how any prime minister could now count on a majority in parliament. Any of them would have to work under the constant threat of a no confidence vote. If the new PM comes from the left, a radical implementation of its tax and spend program would soon face the test of markets and the opposition of European Union authorities who have placed France under the so-called fiscal discipline procedure because of its high deficit and debt. If the new PM comes from Macron's party, he or she will find it nearly impossible to build a wider coalition starting with less than a third of the seats in the new parliament. The numbers just aren't there. So either that government does nothing, or it tries to keep reforming, braving the opposition of the other two-thirds of MPs. Here again, not really a good game plan. Or does that mean? It means that for at least a year, after which the French constitution would allow Macron to call new snap elections, France will be governed by a minority government or an unstable coalition and political chaos is unlikely to foster good economic decisions.